I'm Katie, or KV Does Piano, and this week we're going to be starting on page 14 and ending on page 21. And we're going to be exploring the key of E minor this time. So last time we talked about the key of A minor, which is the relative minor to C major. So now E minor is going to be the relative minor to G major. So that means that it has that F sharp in it. So its natural minor scale will just be the regular thing, E minor with an F sharp. And then the harmonic minor scale will then have an F sharp and then it'll also have that D sharp. So it's a raised seventh. This is, it's a sharp on that D. So um, we have basically just some quick little warm ups in E minor. And then if you turn the page, we have got um, some cut time review. So if you remember correctly, cut time is just two, two time. Um, you don't need to play it any differently. It's just counted as one, two, one, two. So this is basically like the same song, it just has like four different variations. It's all in E minor, so you should be pretty familiar with that once you're done with this song. And then if you turn the page again, we've got another song that is exploring, um, instead of E minor, we're gonna jump back and actually play G major. So um, remember they have the same key signature. The only difference is that um, you can tell the finger scale by like wherever your left hand is starting. So since your left hand is starting on G, that means that this is going to be in the key of G major, where in the last song, your left hand started on an E. So that means that we're going to be an E minor. So that's kind of how you can tell which um, scale you're in. And then the next thing we're going to be talking about is a lead sheet. So we've talked about lead sheets probably like two or three times, um, but now we've just got a lead sheet that exploring E minor and what kind of different chords you can do with that. So um, you can see kind of like a cool broken chord warm up on page 20 for you to kind of try out. I've recorded both of these songs so you can hear how they're supposed to be played. Finale is a little bit weird of a song, so make sure you go check out how it's supposed to be um, sounding since a lot of these minor songs, you might not be able to tell how it's supposed to sound because minor can sound a little bit off sometimes in a finger scale. So just make sure you go check out how those songs are being played. And then I will see you guys next time for our next lesson in level 3B. Bye guys.